You mean to tell me that all those grunts and groans and slams and crunches and cracks aren't for real? Why has Pro Wrestling decided to tell it like it is? That's our story tonight. This is ABC News Nightline. Substituting for Ted Koppel and reporting from Washington, Jeff Greenfield. They throw each other to the floor and they pound and kick and stomp and their blood-curdling screams can be heard for miles around. No, it's not another look at the Senate fight over John Tower. Tonight we look at a far more popular indoor spectacle, pro wrestling. It's become a $300 million a year business with some 4 million paying customers a year. Four of the top 10 cable TV shows are wrestling programs and last year one event, WrestleMania 4, grossed an estimated $40 million. Yet now state legislatures are being urged by the biggest of all wrestling promoters to think the unthinkable, to declare that pro wrestling is not a sport at all, but an entertainment whose outcome is actually known before the battle begins. Why? Nightline correspondent James Walker wrestles with that one. They act as if it were real. We are going to pay back Master Foods with the tag team titles. <laughs> it looks as if it were real. <laughs> It even sounds as if it were real. Well, guess what, sports fans? The secret about pro wrestling is finally out. It is now official. Wrestling is not really wrestling. Wrestling promoters have told their secrets in an attempt to free themselves from the half Nelson of government regulation. Wait a minute. What's that, she said? It is now official. Wrestling is not really wrestling. That's right. The World Wrestling Federation recently told New Jersey lawmakers that when their boys, wrestlers like Hulk Hogan and the Iron Sheik, battle it out in the ring, it's just entertainment. An exhibition. In other words, the matches are fake. So why would the World Wrestling Federation suddenly announce that this is entertainment? The answer is indeed money. The WWF says entertainment should not be regulated here in New Jersey or anywhere else. And with no regulation, that could mean fewer taxes to pay and hence more money in their pockets. In the U.S., 27 state athletic commissions regulate pro wrestling, which means promoters and wrestlers must be licensed, matches must be approved by the state, a doctor must attend each event, and every wrestler has to have a physical. In return, states charge a 5% gate tax, and some collect another 5% tax on closed-circuit broadcasts. I'm not knocking the commissions, but they don't do nothing for their percentage. They come down here, they take our blood pressure, we know we're healthy. They make us sign a contract, and they get a big percentage. In the past three years, campaigns in 16 states have been mounted to deregulate pro wrestling. The WWF refused to talk to Nightline, but in California, Assemblyman Dick Floyd, who just reintroduced a bill to remove state control, right. would. The only reason the state is in there is getting the license fees from the promoters, from the, the participants and all that, is for the money. So how much money is at stake? In 1983, the state of California made $63,000 from pro wrestling. Last year, it made over $300,000. One major reason for the 400% increase is the rising popularity of pro wrestling and the introduction of WrestleMania. What's you gonna do when Hulkamania and the new champion runs wild on you? In 1985, when the WWF launched WrestleMania 1, it made $288,000 from broadcast sales. Next month, when WrestleMania 5 takes place, it expects to make $27 million. If California Assemblyman Dick Floyd's bill passes, the gate tax on wrestling would remain in effect, but the broadcast tax would be eliminated, as would state inspection of events. The whole point is, is that by virtue of the commission being in that box office, they know. They know exactly how much revenue is being taken in. So there, if you look at taking that person out, who's ever going to know? But Floyd feels the State Athletic Commission doesn't deserve the taxes and license fees it collects. You ought not to run a charade of saying that, look, we're licensing and regulating something when we're not. You don't. 
licensed entertainers. I mean, next thing you know, we'll be licensing uh, roller derby. We don't license roller derby. We don't license rock concerts. America, read my lips. I'm no phony. If wrestling is entertainment and beating up people is their way of deriving entertainment, I'm one of the greatest entertainers in the world. You think this is real or is this fake? No comment. <laughs> Some of it's for real, some of it's for uh, kind of fake. Man, you've been sitting here, you've been watching it. What is it? It's real fake. <laughs> is it ever? We asked Bruce Baumgartner, who won a gold medal in wrestling in the 1984 Olympics, to show us how it's fake. See right here, I think you can see this guy's knees bend. He helps himself up. Boom, he straightens himself out nice and rigid and probably pushes right off with the arm to help hold up there and he's balancing himself he's not moving around and then when he falls boom he falls right in his hands you know the mat is very cushioned and i realize that wrestling is an exhibition but it is a physical and sometimes a dangerous exhibition in fact we've had a death or we had a death here in georgia in the ring in the midst of all this controversy about deregulating pro wrestling one state is heading in the opposite direction here in Georgia, the feeling is wrestling needs not less attention, but more. This bill, which Governor Joe Frank Harris is expected to sign, would for the first time put professional wrestling under state control. The bill's author, State Representative Dick Lane, held hearings which revealed the chilling tactics that many promoters force their wrestlers to employ to hype ticket sales. If a promoter told you to bleed that night, then you have to cut yourself and bleed. Juicing. They got a small little blade and hit it over their forehead, and the blood comes out like when you shave. Uh, you nick yourself. Uh, bleeds like the devil. But it doesn't leave big scars and all. These are not needed uh, stitches and all. And I just don't think that's acceptable behavior uh, in Georgia or anywhere else. In the state of Washington, Athletic Commissioner Stan Nakarado says the wrestlers need to be supervised. We've had uh, a former world-recognized champion in the WWF slap a girl in the face, uh, crack a tooth, um, uh, back in the hall, right outside their dressing rooms. I had to appear in court with a man to get him, uh, there was a warrant for his arrest. And 2020 correspondent John Stossel learned painfully just how irrational a pro wrestler can behave. I'll ask you the standard question. You know, standard question. I think this is fake. You think it's fake? What's that? Is that fake? Huh? What the hell's wrong with you? That's open hand slap, huh? You think it's fake? You come Pro wrestling has shaken off that black eye, mounting Hollywood-style extravaganzas that have attracted millions of fanatic supporters and the dollars that go with them. And the champion promoter, without question, is the WWF. It's all a game. It's all a game that they are controlling. And they're laughing all the way to the bank. And it's a bank that's bulging. The WWF grosses over $300 million, enough muscle for its campaign to wipe out state regulations and pocket all the tax money it can. I'm James Walker for Nightline. When we come back, should wrestling be regulated or not? We'll be joined by one of the best-known figures in professional wrestling, Captain Lou Albano, and by a California State Assemblyman, Dick Floyd, who's introduced that bill to deregulate wrestling. This is ABC News Nightline, brought to you by Audi. America's Wetlands. Watch Peter Jennings on ABC's World News Tonight, Monday. He is quite literally one of the most familiar faces in the wrestling world. Captain Lou Albano has been a pro wrestler and wrestling manager for more than 30 years. Captain Lou has managed 17 world championship matches and helped pioneer the WrestleMania concept, and he's with us live from White Plains, New York. Dick Floyd is a Hawthorne, California State Assemblyman who has introduced that bill we heard about to deregulate wrestling in California. He joins us in our Los Angeles Bureau. Now, Captain Lou, you've spent your life, 30 years of it, promoting wrestling. Now the World Wrestling Federation says, hey, it's all a fake. It's, it's not a sport. How does that make you feel? Well, Jeff, it's awful funny that they uh, never said this before. They went up to it's the past five years. If they say it's a fake, then it's what the World Wrestling Federation has created themselves. However, there are alliances like the NWA and the AWA. There are wrestlers uh, like uh, Barry Windham, Mike Rotunda, Dr. Def, Steve Williams. Uh, there are former wrestlers like Rowdy Roddy Piper and like the legendary Bruno San Martino, who were true wrestlers, who really got in that ring and wrestled. So if there's any fake involved in it, 
And if uh, the WWF is saying that, they've created this themselves. I well, believe that we need a commission in professional wrestling for the fact that the wrestlers should be protected. And also, why shouldn't the state collect revenue from us? I call it a sport. Yes, we admit that there is showmanship in professional wrestling, but however, they're trying to get back to the basics of professional wrestling in the AWA and the NWA. And I don't feel that the WWF has the right. If they're men of fake, why should other people be jeopardized? And why should other wrestlers not have a doctor at ringside, uh, not be examined before they go into a ring? Okay, Captain uh, Lou, just, just yes? a second. Nobody ar argues that you, that you don't need skill and discipline and talent to be a wrestler. But yes. the question is, is it something like a ballet, like theater, or is it a sport in which the people going into the ring don't know who's going to win? I think that's what most people want. Well, I'll tell you, I never was a very good wrestler. I prided myself as a manager. When I got beaten that ring, I've wrestled Bruno San Martino several times. No one told me to lose. If Bruno San Martino had one hand tied behind his back, he could have beaten Captain Lou Albano. And as I said, the wrestlers like Rowdy Roddy Piper and Bruno San Martino and Lou Thez and the old timers like Killer Kowalski, I believe they were true wrestlers and true athletes. Yes, there was some showmanship and involved in professional wrestling. But as I said again today, they're trying, some alliances like the NWA and AWA are trying to get back to the basics of wrestling. These are athletes. We have commissioners in New York <laughs> State, Randy Gordon, who is turning around. It's for the better of the boys. You should have an athletic commission and the state should accept rest, should have revenue. Why should promoters have the total pie eating the whole pie? I mean, we're in America. We pay taxes. Everyone doesn't love to pay taxes, but this is America. We admit there are things wrong with our country but what do we do we try to make it better right. there are things wrong with the commission but let's go out and make it better okay, let's appoint let me, some wrestlers on the commission let's make it better let me ask uh, assemblyman floyd we regulate a lot of things that are in sports we make sure that uh, stuntmen in hollywood are protected we regulate a lot of theaters movie theaters exit signs just because wrestling may not be uh, a spontaneous sporting event captain lou albano has 700 stitches in his body doesn't that suggest that it might be a good idea to have doctors and residents at the uh, at these events oh nobody's saying not to have a doctor i'm saying if we have a state sanctioned licensed game that's what it's going to be uh we need that regulation in boxing but in boxing is a whole different world the referee is in complete control he can stop it he can penalize people all these sort of things but the referee state sanctioned licensed in california his main job is not to see the bad guy do something well, and Senator, if he gets out of hand, they take him. I've seen him hit the referee over the head with a chair. Throw the referee out. The fight takes place outside as well as in the ring. Then we got a guy that walks in with a two-by-four, another guy with chains, a guy with a guitar, and then the referee stands there and watches the guy give another guy a haircut or turn a snake loose on him. Well, now, just a on. minute, Senator. That's basically in the WWF. It's not in the AWA no, that, or it's over. not in the NWA. And they Listen. advertise it as true wrestling. Excuse so if a guy me, comes uh, in with a two-by-four... Wait, wait, wait a minute. Excuse me, Albano, gentlemen. 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 Let me finish. This is Let not... Me the, this what this I'm is, saying, uh, Senator. No, he's, he's He's doing, a, he's doing a game just like they do yeah, ex to hide right. the wrestling. Yeah, I mean, he's wrestled into wrestled the game. Excuse me, yeah. gentlemen. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is, not, this is not the Friday Night Fights. I have one more question for Dick Floyd. Same Please. Thing. What you should do, Senator, is try to get in the ring with some of these wrestlers, like a Bruno San Martino. Or All right, gentlemen, I am going to... Uh, see how true Captain Lou, are. I am going to get control of this if I have to get into a half Nelson. Assemblyman Floyd, one quick question. Let's clarify this. Under your bill, we had a lawyer look at it. He tells us that... In fact, the state would no longer collect that tax from closed circuit. Can you? And that's can, wrong. No, just a minute, Captain Luke. Tell me, no, he's right. That's wrong. Can you make it clear? That, that was a mistake in the bill. All right, and you're going to correct. You, you, that, that's going to be correct. All right, you have no, no intention problem. of putting more money and the in the gate pockets. tax. We ought to get that. We get that from theaters. We get that. But you know, if we're going to sanction and licensed wrestlers. I want to know those poor girls just a few blocks down the street wrestling in the mud. Why the hell aren't we licensing them? They're in more danger than Albano would be in a ring. Oh, All right. that's only in your opinion, Senator. If you wouldn't do anything about professional wrestling, you'd realize that there are some alliances, again, trying to go for the betterment of wrestling, getting back to the amateur style they advertise wrestling as show. it should it's be. Great, but Captain it gets Lou, back to the amateur style. No, 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 Captain Lou, back to the and amateur Assemblyman style, Floyd, you lose your audience. Assemblyman Floyd, if you don't mind, we probably need a timekeeper here. Yeah, um, we, are go we are going to actually pause for a moment, and perhaps we'll come back, and when and if we do, we will be joined by Frank DeFord, a senior writer for Sports Illustrated. 
voted the best in the business in the prestigious Washington Journalism... Continuing the question, are you sure Edward R. Murrow started this way? Frank DeFord, who's with us now from our affiliate WTNH in New Haven, Connecticut, is a senior writer for Sports Illustrated magazine, prize-winning author, and he takes part annually in our New Year's prediction program to forecast the year ahead in sports and probably wishes he may be somewhere else. But Frank, I do want to ask you about the, the massive appeal of wrestling, the folks who pay their $19.95 for a pay-per-view program, the people who go to wrestling. Do they, in your sense, know in their hearts that this is a show? Do some of them believe it's real? What are, what are they when they go? Well, first of all, I wish I were one of them because I think there'd be nothing better in this world to believe in a world that's all black and all white and, 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 and all, all heroes and villains. I think it's wonderful. I, I, I'm very jealous of them. And I think some of them understand that it may not be the most, uh, the most correct thing in the world, but I think they practice wonderful denial, Jeff. And, I, and, and, and in that sense, I think it's terribly benign and, and very, very nice. And also, Jeff, I want to congratulate you because you're the first television wrestling MC to get this far in a program without getting hit. Well, that's because I'm several thousand miles away. No dummies here. But, but if, if, in fact, the fans, who, who it seems to me both know and don't want to know that it's a, it's yes. a stunt, if they became convinced if, that by the World Wrestling Federation's lobbying that, in fact, there was no more chance to, to believe that it was fake, what would it do to the, to the spectacle? What would it do to the attendance, do you think? I, I don't think it would hurt it at all. I think what's really happening is what George Aiken suggested many years ago, that we ought to declare the Vietnam War won and get out and that's the end of it. And I think essentially these people will forget about this as soon as the matter is taken care of. Well, They'll actually, go back. Excuse me, may I interrupt a minute? Actually, before when the senator talked, he was a little misinformed. He said that the state is now going to uh, change the bill where they wouldn't receive revenue. Why shouldn't the state receive revenue from a sport? I call it a sport because wrestlers are hurt. And any wrestler that can't afford hospitalization, you must remember, like in the New York State Athletic Commission, if you're hurt in that ring, you are protected by the Athletic Commission. A doctor checks you before you get in that ring. Suppose promoters tell us that they will turn around and have a doctor there. Once they deregulize all throughout the nation, you know that's not going to be. The wrestler will not be protected. They are athletes. And where the senator said he saw two-by-fours and snakes and so forth in that ring, maybe that's the WWF, WWF's way of, of having wrestling. But there are alliances who do not have snakes and so Gorgeous forth. the gorgeous ladies of wrestling? Come on. Now, this is ridiculous. That, all right, that's something else. That's gorgeous. Gentlemen, one, you know, gentlemen, gorgeous gentlemen it's excuse me. It's entertainment. Nobody We're argues We're talking that. about the AWA, the NWA, other private alliances, the, such as Trans world that are trying to get back to the basics if they were half of as professional popular wrestling, as they are. Yeah, they'd be making the bucks. Now, gentlemen, listen. One rule. I know I don't have a black and white shirt on. We're going to have to go That's one right. at a time. And I do want to ask. Right. Let me answer. No, his just shot a there. second, please. I have a question for Lou Albano. Go right ahead, Captain That's Lou. Lou Albano show. Captain. Yes. Cap <laughs> Assemblyman. Oh no, it, Senator. Please don't interrupt. Right. Will you please? That's, that'll don't do. Show it. That'll do it for now, folks. <laughs> Captain Lou. Yes. If the fans who pay their good money come to believe that you guys are showmen and not engaged in a sport. Don't you think that might destroy a lot of the illusions and, and also destroy the gate? I, it may destroy the illusion of the gate, but I'd like to feel, as I said, when I wrestled, when people beat me, I was beat because I wasn't a good wrestler. No one told me to lose. And if, as I said, if the WWF claims that it's a show, perhaps they are showmen, but it doesn't mean that every wrestler okay. in the world is a showman. No, I, I get that point. Now, Assemblyman Floyd, yeah. let, let's come back to the basic question, because I want to give you a chance to, to state it in the clear. A lot of people get hurt in the ring. Right? Yes. Yes, the, the, that's uh, right. They do in roller derby and professional football, too. We don't license them in sanctions. Well, in fact, in professional football, they, the, the football players have to pass a physical, and if they don't, they can't play. I, no, I'm, that's I'm, a league rule. That's not a state well, rule. Well, I'm not at all clear why, though, you're saying that professional wrestlers ought to have less protection than, say, people who work in carnivals, which are regulated by states. True. No, no. No, no. They're not regulated by... There's no licensing of carny people anywhere that I know of. Now, you know, what we're talking about, and he's talking about... Do you lose the gate or something? Of course not. It's just like going to the movies. Now, when Albano was wrestling, I was doing a little gig called Korea. But I know when I watch a war movie, those guys ain't dying. They ain't being killed. They're not being really hurt. And that's the same way with wrestling. But, but don't we shouldn't sanction because that. Because you've never been in the ring yourself, Senator, and you don't know. You're not an athlete. So don't try to criticize people up? that are athletes. 
Uh, in fact, no, nobody's fact, criticizing your athletic ability. I wouldn't even criticize your use of your mouth because you do that very well. Well, huh? well you do a pretty good job. That's why you've uh, perhaps <laughs> guess, you've guess what, there, guess what, you're more off there. Guess what, folks? Right. Guess what, Assemblyman? Guess what, Captain Lou? This I version know. of the Lincoln-Douglas debates must pause for another break, but for some Fantastic. unearthly reason, we're what going to continue you? this conversation in a moment. Now with Captain Lou Albano, Dick Floyd, and Frank DeFord. Frank, uh, quickly, uh, granted that it may be benign, a form of entertainment, is, th is there something bothersome about sports announcers who put wrestling highlights in their sports package and pretend it's no. a sport? No, I think it's amusement. I think when the Harlem Globetrotters come to town and the Harlem Globetrotters win thousands of games in a row, they're included. So I think that's perfectly appropriate. All right. Uh, Captain Lou? Very, qu very quickly, um, are, you are you wrestlers going to go to try to fight this attempt actively to, to keep yourselves regulated by states around the country? I believe that every wrestler should get behind it. There should be a commission because they're very protective of the boys. They protect our, our careers and what we do for a living. And there are alliances, again, as I said, that are getting back to the real wrestling. So whatever the WWF says may be only for themselves, but not wrestling as an overall package. They are great athletes and they need the protection that they can get. All right, Assemblyman Floyd, last word is yours. What's the benefit of deregulating the sport? What's the point of it? Who benefits? Just, the only benefit is that the state is not involved in a charade for something only for the money. If we're going to regulate, we're going to license, then we have to license that wrestling referee and he has to be in charge. The guy throws out of the ring, well, then he's do disqualified. It. Well then do it. Uh, well, the but, guy was grabbing the back of Albano's uh, uh, trunks in the old days, and the referee was always looking the wrong way, distracted. Well, so, come on, it's a game, and it's a great game. I hope it continues, but I don't think the state ought to participate just for the money. We're not providing okay. anything there. Th gentlemen, We're just uh, we, the gentlemen money. we actually do have to go. That is our report for tonight. Fantastic. I am Jeff Greenfield in Washington. For all of us here at ABC News, good night. This has been ABC News Nightline. If you script of this or any Nightline broadcast, please send $3 to Nightline Transcripts, 267 Broadway, New York, New York, 1007. This is